So in this video, I am going to talk about each part in the tree that you are going to draw in syntax. In any any tree that you are going to draw uh, in syntax. But this one is actually uh, an abstract uh, an abstract tree. Why did I say that it is abstract? Because here we have only letters M, N, O, B, Q and these letters are not real I could put instead of like for example uh, instead the letter M I could put instead of it T, P and I could put uh, instead of N um, I could put instead of it uh, non phrase and here I could put also uh, I could also put a verb phrase now here let me talk ab uh, about uh, the M part here the M part in this tree uh, I could call it so many things here I could call it node okay because it's it's a part of the tree and then I could call it also a root node why did I call it root node because here um, uh, because it is the mother that uh, goes uh, the dot this daughters goes under under it underneath it so I could call it root node and I could call it node and here uh, I could call it I could say this one is branching why did I say this is branching because I, as you could see here I have uh, multiple branches goes under this letter uh, this this first uh, branch and this one the second branch so I call I call this letter is branching Okay, now here let me discuss also this uh, part. This part also we could call it a branching. Why? Because we uh, because we have here uh, three branch branches goes under this letter. So I could call it what? I could call it a branching. Also this one I could call it node. Why do why did I call it node? Because it goes under the branches also. And here I could call it a non-terminal node. Why did I call it non-terminal node? because um, I could call the situation that uh, in uh, I could call the situation of the letter N is a non-terminal node non-terminal node why did I say this is non-terminal node because there is something goes under it that's why did I uh, why that's why I call it um, non-terminal node and also let me discuss uh, this part also it's the same of this part I could call this letter non-terminal node because it's something goes under this and also I could call the M uh, non-terminal node here um, now let me discuss also the letter U T and S S I could call it node why because it there is a branch goes above it and then the T here, I could call it also node, and this one also a node. Here, let me discuss this part. It's also the same of the other part here, but not, let me discuss something new about it. We could call it terminal node. Why did I call it terminal node? And all of the, actually not the on, uh, not only the P we could call it terminal node. We could call the P the B Q R S T U. All of these letters we could call them a uh, terminal node. Why did we ca call it terminal node? Because it comes at the end of uh, at the end of this tree, and there is no no more branches goes under these letters. So I could call them terminal node. And then here I said uh, that the letter N we call it uh, we call it a branching as you as you can see here but why did we call it a branching because we have a multiple uh, multiple uh, uh, branching goes under it and then the m we have both both of these branches goes under this letter so we called it what we called it branching but we have also another situation that called non branching that uh, that the letter goes under it a single a single uh, branch for example here I have example here I have the example F the example F here goes under it what goes under it the letter G and it's only the letter G there is no another letter and there is a single branch so I could call this non branching this one I could call it I could call it non branching 
So the the letter F I could call it non branching, and also it could be inside this uh inside this uh, tree. And the most important thing that we have to know about each tree that it's on uh, each tree have only one root node. So I am going to continue on another abstract tree here, uh, which is uh, um, I'm going to discuss uh, the domination and exhaustive domination. So in this abstract tree, I just uh, clarify it for you in um, I clarify it for you in circles so you could understand it more. Here I have the domination. What I mean by domination that uh, A, uh, as you could see, there is a red circle on it and the C also and the B there is a red circle but there is nothing in these letters I have another uh, I have a circle on it so what do I mean by domination is A dominates B and A dominates C why did I say that because there is nothing goes between them if I see something goes between them then I will say this thing uh, dominated by A and this thing go uh, dominated by A and then now let me discuss with you the the exhaustive domination the exhaustive domination i meant by by this uh, by this kind of domination is that the letter that dominate all letters in in uh, in um, in the street okay so uh, i meant by it that a dominates c b d e f g and A dominates all the letters here, so that's what do I mean by exhaustive domination. It is exhaustively dominates everything, uh, exhaustively dominate the letters in uh, in this in this tree.